starting. So if you'd like to help, you can donate through the Red Cross. Information available on our website. The federal government, by the way, is going to match dollar for dollar every donation that is made by Canadians. Meantime, the fire situation is worsening here in our province. A second evacuation order has been issued for the Beaton Airport road fire burning about 540 kilometers northwest of Fort St. John. Two fires essentially merged yesterday, creating one large blaze, about 12,000 hectares in size. The fire also prompted the complete closure of the Alaska Highway for a time. 112 firefighters, nine helicopters, along with 12 pieces of heavy equipment are currently working to try and get that blaze under control. And another large fire near Fort St. John, the Siphon Creek blaze, has now crossed the border and into Alberta. An evacuation order has been issued for the Peace River Regional District. Evacuees being asked to register at the North Peace Arena in Fort St. John. You can call the number coming up on your screen right there for more information. The fire currently sitting at 9,000 hectares and 0% contained, unfortunately. The firefight is led by BC crews so that Alberta firefighters can, of course, stay focused on what's happening in Fort McMurray. Unfortunately, most of the province right now, most of BC, is seeing a fairly seasonal pattern. We've had some hot days, but it's been tempered with some cooler, wet days. Unfortunately, in the peace, that's simply not happening. Uh, they've had record-breaking high temperatures, unseasonably dry, and at least for the next few days, we're not really seeing much relief in the forecast for them. There's potential for some rain on, on Sunday, uh, but it's not going to be enough to fully get these fires wrapped. In Langley, a family of seven has escaped 